Hey friends and fam, Cold Case Cause here. So it turns out lives do not work out here where I live on the Southern Ute Indian Reservation in Red Mesa, Colorado, Hesperus. So I've decided to make another video. We had to go to Plan B. So here we are, we're at the beautiful Mesa. I'll show you all around a little bit. And this is Mikasa. And the snow, as you can see, is melted. But it has been windy and cold. I mean, windy and freezing. And uh, as you can see, I'm all bundled up right now. But this is uh, a special I wanted to come live or attempt to come live. It didn't work. It kept glitching out. So I'm going to make a, a different video. But this is an announcement video. So we got a big search coming up. We're going to go down to Ash Fork, Arizona, to where Chelsea Grimm disappeared. And if you don't know about Chelsea Grimm, she's the 28-year-old uh, young lady who disappeared uh, on a cross-country trip to go home to see her family for a wedding. She had a bearded dragon with her. Um, she had camping gear. She had a tent, a sleeping bag. And just very basic camping gear and stuff like that. And she wasn't much of a camper from what I've understood. So it was strange of her to bring camping gear to her parents. They thought that was a little out of character for her. Um, <clears throat> the camping gear was gone out of her vehicle. So that means she took the bearded dragon. And she took her camping gear when she left her vehicle. Well, her vehicle was found uh, with two flat tires on the right side on a dirt road there outside of Ash Fork, Arizona. Uh, a lot of strange circumstances around the disappearance of her. <coughs> um, very limited search has been done. There's been a PI hired, Mr. Townsend, and he I know he's been working overtime to try to figure out what happens, but it's just like she vanished. But considering she hasn't turned up by now, we're going to go down there and put in a hard search in the wooded areas around there. And I actually want to go up because I kind of I'm developing a theory. We're going to go up there around the, the interstate and kind of search the wooded areas near where the nearest spot where she could have gotten on the interstate or gotten off the interstate to end up where she was. Because I-40 runs right through there, the main interstate. Uh, so and then we're going to investigate the possibility that she was picked up. And then, you know, driven up maybe to the interstate or maybe to the Love's truck stop because it was said that that's where the law enforcement officer that encountered her uh, suggested that she go to stay, uh, spend the night or, you know, crash. So we're going to investigate that. Um, there's a lot of area out there. You know, it's a big open mountain deserty type uh, with Ponderosa forests, but uh, arid desert zone. So right now, the snow is not stacked up and it's still warm. Uh, I've been looking at the temperatures down there. It's in the 50s and 60s. Uh, so it should be perfect. I mean, the smell should be good in the morning. Everything should be nice, cool, and dry. So hopefully the dogs will be all right. And um, there's it's, it's not frigid and miserable like it is here right now. I mean, it's been getting down five degrees at night. But uh, we've been running the stove. I got a nice wood burning stove. Let me show you all around a little bit. Look at little Boots Boy. He's sleeping. I keep him in the sun. He loves the sun. Oh, he's a sleepy boy. And there's Zoom on Nipsey. Say hi, Zoom. Say hi, Nipsey. Well, this is my stove, y'all. This is the cabin. Off grid. 100% off grid. Got the bunk beds, got the Mylar interior. So I messed up when I put the in interior and I put Mylar inside, you know, it's great for insulation and reflecting heat. And then I put this old uh, tin roof style tin around the entire side. And then I put a, new, a roof on the top. And uh, turns out I have like encased myself into metal and Mylar in there. And it's like being into one of those cell phone protector I can't get any, uh, I can't watch movies or anything in there. So it's a, uh, it gets a little quiet out here, but uh, we do all right. But I wanted to come live because this is a fundraising uh, video as well. So I have also a little bit of a painter. Uh, I, in summertime, we have a farmer's market and I sell paintings and stuff. 
and I do a little bit of art. So I painted these two pictures and made frames for them. And we're going to see if we can't do a little bit of an auction to raise money, gas money, and dog food money for this Chelsea Grimm cert. Uh, so <clears throat> we're hoping to get cracking right away at this before the next big storm rolls in. So that I had to think outside of the box because I, I mean, with this inflation and uh, just how the economy is right now, it's kind of wiped me out financially with all these searches because everything we do, y'all, you know, is volunteer. We, we don't accept money from anyone or anything. I'm about to have this YouTube channel monetized, and I will accept that money, though, from YouTube because I put a lot of dang work into this channel over the few years. So, um, so but this is what I got. Tell me what y'all think. I, I'm thinking we're going to start. So this is the first painting right here. And this is... Southern Ute Dog Soldier is what I named this. And it's a Native American on a horse. And this is an acrylic on canvas. And it's named Southern Ute Dog Soldier. And it's got a nice barn wood frame you can see. And I, I don't know if you can see, but I signed it and put the year there. I painted this in 2022. So, if you would like to own this painting... I'm only charging $150 for this painting. So if you'd like to drop in the comments and say you think you'd like to have it, just drop in the comments and say sold or I'll take it. Uh, it's first come, first serve. It's got a nice barn wood frame, the same barn wood that I built this cabin with. Uh, it's acrylic on canvas and uh, it's real bright and look real nice on your, on your wall at home. And this is the second painting I have. And I named this one Bahama Llama. <laughs> Me and my daughter, when I get my daughter, we like to paint together. So I really got into painting lately. And it's got a nice barn wood frame on it. And I'm um, assigned it 22 there. And I kind of did like a little spark. I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but I, I spray painted with like sparkly to make it fancy. But... I was thinking 150 for it. So each one of these, 150 each. And all, and all the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds go to dog food and gas for the Chelsea Grimm search. So I'm thinking about coming live once a month to do these search, uh, to do these little fundraisers with paintings and art that I've made. I've made some really nice wooden bowls, uh, some like really fancy carpentry wooden bowls out of um, root balls. So uh, that's what I'm going to come next with it to try to give up to, on auction. And, you know, these are obviously going to be like Picasso's, you know, and just skyrocket in value. But uh, they would look good on your wall at home. I don't know. Maybe talk to the husband or wife and see about it and make sure it's okay with them first. But if you would like to own one of these paintings by yours truly, drop a comment. $150, I'll ship it to you. And we can do either PayPal or Cash App or whatever you think. I'm easy. I got a post office in Marvel right up the road. I'll package it up nice and uh, send it to you right away. Because I really would like to get this search going right away. But I just, in the wintertime, y'all here in Colorado, a lot of stuff shuts down and the jobs are few and <clears throat> far between. So I really would like to do this for a living. So if I can just have a little bit of, of a boost here, it would be huge. Uh, enough to where I can afford, if I can just afford a little bit of gas and dog food with this inflation, I can make these searches happen. So we here at Cold Case Cause would be incredibly grateful if you guys were, one of y'all at home would like to buy one of these paintings. I'll show y'all again. That one is Bahama Llama, painted in 2022. And this is Southern Ute Dog Soldier, painted in 22, with barn wood frames, <clears throat> ready to hang on your wall. <clears throat> so again, I hope you guys are having a happy holidays at home and I hope you spend it with some folks that you could stand and love and uh, 
got ate good food and got good nice gifts and everything considering the economy uh, i get my daughter soon so we're gonna enjoy our time this next week coming up <clears throat> but man guys i've been chopping at the bit ready to get back in the woods or get back on the trail to do some searching uh we got some stuff in the works and guys i wanted to tell you something there's <clears throat> I've, I've had to keep some things close to the vest here um and that's all i can tell you there's some stuff that i haven't really been able to talk about and i'm gonna leave it at that but what i can ask you to do is please tell your friends and family to like and subscribe because there's stuff brewing right now and uh i can't say anything else but um you're you're really going to want to stay tuned to what I got coming up. You're not going to believe it. So, but given that, I also, sorry about the wind. Uh, I also wanted to do another announcement. We are going to be, I'm going to be adding some new segments to my, to my channel. So just doing the searches seems kind of boring and I've kind of stalled out with like subscribers and stuff and uh, growth. So I'm going to start uh, doing a segment three new segments uh one called fireside chat and we're going to be sitting just sitting beside the fire in here and just going over current events and i'd like to have it to where it's like a live where people can comment and we can chat and like we can all hear your opinions and your comments and because uh, i value that greatly here like i would like this to be like a a hive mind collective out here like a blossoming community hive mind collective is how i envision this to be where we all kind of help out to solve these case, these old cold cases. Um, and hopefully we can get in good with law enforcement agencies and stuff, you know, kind of like how Adventures with Purpose did. Um, Adventures with Purpose, you know, got, got in good with law enforcement and they were very respected. So hopefully we can get to that point uh, once we get some good recoveries and get our name out there. But so we're going to be doing the fireside chat. We're going to be talking about the current events, uh, searches, cold cases, mysteries, disappearances, things like that. That's what's going to be going on in the fireside chats. And um, what else? The other thing I'm going to be do doing, we're going to be doing once a month a fundraising auction. And that's what we're kind of doing now with the paintings. And it's going to be some sort of nice decorative art, whether it's wood, carpentry, wood bowls. Um, I got uh, really nice canes that I've made. Uh, it's always going to be something nice and fancy for your house. So, And the third thing we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be doing like a survival and off-grid segment. So I wanted to, I have this nice cabin here. Look at the cabin, you know. I spent a lot of time building it this summer. And I'm 100% living off-grid. It's great. I don't have, you know, running water or electricity or internet or anything, but I got an outhouse over there. I'll show you. <laughs> I have an outdoor shower and an outhouse right there. That's my outdoor shower and outhouse. I got a generator right there. I got solar on the roof up there. You can't see. And uh, I got a few little solar panels to charge cell phones and stuff like that but y'all i have not been more happy in my life than i am right now here on this mesa uh, i kind of went through divorce went through some tough stuff and i feel like i finally found myself out here and, and it's quiet and lonely but i feel every man should have to do this in his life he should have to go out and live somewhere in the middle of nowhere where there's you know no people no neighbors just quiet serenity, the mountains, the outdoors, mother nature. I feel every man and woman should take time in their life to go out and do that. Whether it's for a week or a month, take time and go out and literally get in the middle of nowhere and where you're lonely and take time and try it. Cause it's, it's character building. You will find yourself out here and, uh, it's good for, you know, if you're an artist or writer, um, it's good for your mind it's good for it builds creative creativity so but i just want to say thanks to everyone uh who likes and subscribe and go ahead and hit that notification bell if you want
<clears throat> and like I said, if you're interested in these paintings, just drop it in the comments. Just say I'll take it, or uh, would you? And if it's if the price is too much uh, and no one claims it, I'd be willing to go down on the price. So if, what, <clears throat> but I can have it packaged up and shipped out right away if you're interested, and we'll work it out on some sort of payment platform, whether it be Cash App or PayPal, uh, anything like that. So. But happy holidays to you and yours at home. Um, if you can think of anything else that might help out, I'm really going to try to step up my camera movements and uh, my actual technology that I have. I'm just using this cell phone. So we're hoping to upgrade our gear here real soon. Um, but I sure do appreciate everyone and all the new subscribers coming from other channels like Sweetie Pilo and Plunder. And uh, who else? Um, that's all I can think of right now. Well, there's a couple others out there. But uh, all the kind comments and the, the likes is what helps fund these new searches. Uh, from us here on the Mesa in beautiful Hesperus, Colorado, to you wherever you are in the world. Sorry about this wind. Just want to say happy holidays again and look we got a beautiful sun setting i'll show you all the paintings one more time that's the southern ute dog soldier barnwood frame 150 dollars and this is the bahama llama barnwood frame 150 i can have them shipped out right away so god bless blessings to you and happy holidays and merry christmas and happy hanukkah happy kwanzaa feliz navidad i missed a few i'm sure but blessings to all y'all and thank you so much for watching and um hit that like and subscribe Steve.